Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be looking at uh, s Some Instagram posts on my old old Instagram um, Just pick my nose there real quick. Um, I did a video actually we'll look at it right now. I did a video back in December uh, of reacting to old BMX videos and this was on my old YouTube channel uh, But today I thought it would be kind of neat uh, just to go back and look at some of the first Instagram posts I did that were BMX related for the most part. Um, as you can see, this is uh, the old potato back in the day. I must have been 15 maybe in these pictures. This, this is other Mitch. Um, but yeah, this is me. I was really into tie-dyeing shirts. All my, my friend, we used to just tie-dye shirts all the time. But anyways, we're going to try to look at some of the more BMX related stuff. Uh, as you can see, this is when I first got my free coaster, I believe. Uh, figured out a hub guard. Oh, maybe not. Whoa, why? I had a drive side hub guard on a non drive side of the hub. Okay, uh, you should not do that. <laughs> yeah, every time. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Every time I click off, it goes there. So, um, yeah. Okay, we went back even further. Oh, wow. This is really cool. So, yes, yeah, so this is like me getting into tie-dye right here I, uh, as you guys will see uh, when I when it starts to get warmer out and I'm just wearing like a t-shirt and stuff I'm almost always wearing a tie-dye shirt um, but yeah there's there's some pictures of me and my friend <laughs> yeah uh, this is me way back in high school man I haven't looked at any of these pictures in so long yeah there's me tie-dyeing shirts uh, that one was pretty sick that colony shirt uh, there's actually one that I did I did a bleach dye um, and Alex Heim or one of his friends commented on it and they tagged him they're like yo check out this kid's shirts which is pretty sick um there's me i could i used to be able to do nose manuals sort of but I, this was before video so i just uh i just took pictures but yeah i was i was learning nose manuals and basically what i would do is i would go on the sidewalk and i would just uh go like diagonal from the grass to the cement so i would just flip over into the grass so it wouldn't hurt uh but then i started to get a little comfortable and then I tried it on pavement, and then I fell on pavement, and I was like, you know what? Those manuals are for me. <laughs> There's a turn down gap I did. My turn downs used to be better than they are now, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, let's. I want to get into the videos, um, which are right up here. This was. I'm not gonna play the first video. That's just silly. Uh, more or less, uh, the biking videos. Uh, I used to post like twice a day on uh, Instagram. It was retarded. Uh, but yeah. There's a crank that I painted. There's my old bike. That was when I got a Fiend. We'll click on it. Why not? Um, there's my Fiend bike. It was pretty sick. I've got like this little nub peg on there. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, that bike looked dope. Uh, you can't go wrong with an all black bike. But that was Fiend. Oh, those are the premium Connor Lodes bars, I believe. The Lotus, I think is what they're called. The Lodes, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I added like, uh, at one point I did have Fiend handlebars. I had a Fiend frame, Fiend fork. And then I had these demolition cranks. Um, no! God damn it. Alright, uh, so we're back. Um, let's see what we got here. There's somebody just dumb sunset photos. Uh, this was me watching TV. My cat, or Kata at the time. Uh, that was my, that's when I used to have an iPhone. This is my friend sleeping on, on my couch, I guess. Oh, here it is right here. These are some shirts I made. Yeah, Declan Brooks, check that out, and it was at Alex Heim, and I was like, well, that's sick, that is a sick shirt, that was probably the coolest shirt that I ever made, uh, I was super proud of that one, that one looks sick, uh, I can't remember, I think I found that shirt at the thrift store, and it was like, it was kind of like a darker green to like a black-ish, and it had those three wolves on it, I'm like, yo, I'm bleaching the heck out of this shirt, and yeah, it turned out pretty dope. Yeah, so I used to paint my bike a lot, so not much longer after you just seen that bike that was all black. Uh, I, I, I completely rod uh, the frame, I think. Yeah, I did a absolute garbage job at it, as you can see. Like, there's still black everywhere. But I kind of liked having the raw frame. Um, what is this? Let's go through these. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't take very long for me to paint that frame. I painted it blue. Uh, and as you can see, these are probably all on the same day, but that was, that was sick. That was my, f that was the fiend frame and I saw all the stickers and I painted it like that sparkly bl blue. That looks sick. That was probably one of my favorite bikes besides having the red grips that look lame as heck. There's some bruises. I don't want to look, I don't want to go through pictures like that. I find like some decent biking pictures. 
that's actually this picture right here uh i'm actually going to that skate park tomorrow uh so the day you're seeing this i'll be at that skate park i'm gonna film a video i know i missed a video yesterday but i'm actually starting to work now uh so having some money will definitely help with this whole youtube thing so hopefully i can save up and get a camera and do more real life biking videos uh i kind of want to like i've been like in this like weird like zone where i kind of want to progress on my bike because uh, i took like a year off uh, I'm kind of rambling now, but I took like a year off, sort of, I, like I, I might have rode like a handful of times throughout the year, but uh, I really want to get back into it, and I, I, I was so much better in this era uh, when I was like 16 years old, like I used to ride every single day, um, and I'm trying to get back into that, I've been riding pretty consistent uh, the past few days, I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable on my bike, um, but yeah, I definitely want to do a lot more riding. And there's gonna be a lot more riding videos. I know a lot of you guys seem to enjoy that. Um, let's see here. I want more riding stuff. Okay. Uh, if any of you guys know who Brandon Webster is, he's an amazing bike rider. This is us <laughs> hanging out on his birthday. Man, that is so long ago. Yeah, there he is with the with the cake. Um, there's gonna be a lot of gay pictures in here. Uh, this one's sick. I'm pretty sure. A little three over Whoa. the back jump. Ooh, that crank flip. Regular feeble switch 180. Oppo feeble. Normal 180. Full cab. Ooh. Not bad. I need to just get back to where I was, I feel like. What's this one? I think this is just an ice pick. Which is stupid because I was trying ice picks the other day. It's a short ass ice pick. But I was trying ice picks the other day and I just couldn't do them and it was so frustrating. Um, there's got to be more riding videos up here. Uh, these aren't that old though. 109 weeks. Oh, that's a Hank 5. I, I don't know if you guys remember. Oh, wow. I cased it. So bad. Why did I post this? Uh, but yeah, if you guys can remember, I posted a video at this exact same spot. And I was trying Hank 5 and I couldn't. I've done it before. I don't know. Usually I just end up getting fed up and I just post that. That was weird. Like, I cased it, but I landed it clean. That was so weird. It's, it almost looks like I purposely tried to do it but no clearly i didn't oh this is picked in skate park this is where i was the other day where i just filmed that video there's almost like the same clip of me doing the crank arm that that the real fun to crank arm this is like a weird little gap that you kind of miss but there's my friend josh doing it <laughs> oh man this makes me want to ride so bad and we're going to campbellford tomorrow here's me with the, the bucket hat steez with the long ass hair a lot of you guys haven't seen me with long hair i used to have look at that stupid little man whatever that's called skirt uh yeah there's so many good videos is this me do i think this is me doing a foot jam i'm garbage at foot jams if you can even see that this wasn't that long ago it's like a year ago yeah as you can see uh that that clip was a year ago and how many riding clips do we have after that? One, two, three. And I probably filmed every time I went on a ride, so I didn't really ride that much. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? I want, I want something. Oh, this is the skate park I'm going to today, I guess, as you're seeing this. We'll watch this. I gotta land this, because I, I almost did this. The full crank arm on this whole rail. I mean, I obviously ate it but it's like a obviously you can see it's a flat to down i want to crank arm that whole thing i feel like i'm a little bit better at crank arms now so i feel like i can do it uh there, i know there's a clip of me getting really close to it i just gotta find it it's like i think i posted it the exact same time oh here it is right here yeah so let's check this one out so there's me doing the, just the top part There's me crank arming just the down part. And then this time I got really close. The top, the bottom, and then I just took a foot off. I feel like I can do it now. But I think th uh, that was like right when I learned crank arm, sort of. So I was stoked. To do it down that, that was pretty scary. I mean, it's just a little flat uh, rail, but it's still kind of scary for me. I'm a little bit of a, of a, a bitch, for a lack of a better word, uh, as you guys will start to notice when I ride. If you guys ever ride with me at some point in the future, because I know some of you guys uh, don't live too far away and you guys have asked about meeting up, you, you, you'll realize I'm a big baby when it comes 
when it comes to riding. What's this one? Oh, this one's actually sick. We had this we had this kid that made this big flat rail and it was super sick. This is a double peg to feeble to 180. Ooh, not bad. I used to be steezy. I used to have lot, so much street cred. Uh, but yeah, you can see my hair. Look how long my hair was. Look how long my hair was. I look like a freaking different person. I do play guitar too. That's probably the coolest thing I've ever done. It's super simple. It's just a dumb scale. Anyways, um, so we'll, we'll watch. We'll watch two more. This one's sick. I want to learn. I haven't done a half cab crank flip with a free coaster yet. I, I, maybe I'll try and learn that tomorrow or today, whatever. Uh, it definitely. I was so easy with a cassette. I used to half cab crank flip a lot. But yeah, I don't know. I'll try it with a free coaster. I feel like it's probably harder. That was pretty clean though. Let's find one more clip. I'll try to find a good one. I'll try to find something that's actually half decent. Oh, here's me trying to bar spin because I know a lot of you guys asked about the bar spin. So this is a clip of me not landing in this. Uh, but I actually did land a bar spin on that. So I mean, that's really the only time I would ever consider myself landing a bar spin. I had wood on top, so I actually did land it. And I, I stood on the pedals for a couple minutes after before I jumped in the snow because I was stoked. But uh, yeah. Uh, didn't film it because my friend wasn't there. I just want to find one more clip. Because there's the bar. Oh, here's one more funny one. This is just the last funny one. This is me doing a nose manual into the snow to like front flip. A greasy nose manual. And then I just. Right into the snow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll try to find one more riding clip that's, I mean, at least worthy of watching. Just want a joyride that's pretty cool. Some more guitar. Ice pick. Uh, it's just a lot of selfies with my ex, really. Oh, this one's pretty cool. We'll watch this one. So I learned like fakie manuals to full cabs, which is actually pr pretty hard. So that one's pretty sketchy, but the next one's actually decent. I used to not be bad at fakie manuals. I feel like we should watch one more. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna cut a lot of this out, so I, I feel like we should watch one more. Um Oh, here's one at the skate park I'm going to tomorrow. I'm super excited to ride there. A little T bog. Take greasy hang five. I think that was it. I just want to I just want to keep watching these dudes like I love watching these old clips it just gets me so hyped it's just like ah oh, when I go there I gotta do that so I know I'm not as garbage anymore uh, yeah I don't know uh, it's just like a lot of gay pictures with my ex-girlfriend turndowns uh, I want to find one more I find one more. I just used to do like a lot of Photoshop and just post it randomly. Like I said, a lot of pictures with DX. Uh, shit. Oh, this one's kind of cool. Okay, this is the last. One. This is the last clip I'll show you. Uh, this one I could kind of do turn downs a little bit better than I could. I said like a a manual to turn down. It's not good. It's not the best turn down I've ever done. Yeah, like Justin Soul said, manual letdowns. It's not a very good turn down. But maybe maybe I'll try that again. I mean, that's a hard trick to pop out of a manual. Um, but yeah, I guess that does it for the Instagram clips. So thank you guys so much for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed this a little bit. Uh, I definitely enjoyed going back and, and looking at these. It's been a while since I, I've done this. Every once in a while, I'll go and I'll look on my uh, my old YouTube and I'll watch some of the videos, almost just for ideas sometimes to get a little bit more creative because sometimes like I'll, I'll be like thinking of stuff to do on like a setup. Uh, and I think about things a lot differently than I did back uh, 
uh, when I was 16. I feel like when I was 16 and I was eager to learn tricks and just do tricks, uh, I feel like I was a lot more creative than I know. Where now it's just like, eh, I might get hurt on that. I don't want to do that. Uh, but I've had this kind of like drive in me the past little bit, and I've uh, I've just been stoked to ride. And I've been riding a lot lately, and uh, it, it helps when you got good people to ride with. And I I have a lot of friends that I ride with, so I'm grateful for that because uh, I used to just ride by myself, which kind of sucked. I think that's mainly why I uh, I didn't ride last year. I uh, didn't really have anyone to ride with, and my good friend that I grew up riding with, uh, Dorian. He moved away, so I didn't really have anyone to ride with. But now I got uh, I got my buddy Rob, got my my buddy Ryan. There's lots of guys around the area that ride, so I'm super stoked to get back uh, into it and uh, uh, bring you guys along with me and uh, try to progress a little bit and try some cool things. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you're having a great day. And yeah, peace out, guys. Blunt tip, homage like caviar, wilding out, fish tail and Subaru, rally car, scared out the passenger, letting them order, mad at y'all, egg